organizing your home today. Tamara's been taking on all the responsibilities of running the house and her family as if she was a single mum. So I wanted to find out from her what exactly Michael does. We do have a really a big issue. Like if he comes home, he'll go right on the computer. He'll lay on the couch, he'll watch TV, he'll just do his own thing. I don't feel like he really knows what I go through. He's not with the kids from morning till night. Do you think he thinks it's your job? You do with the kids, I go to work, outside yeah. the house, and you think inside the house mm -hmm. is the children, yeah. it's you. It's the home, the cooking, the exactly. cleaning, the washing is you. Your job. Yeah, I don't have any help. I do it on my own. Sometimes I feel like he might stay longer at work so he doesn't have to deal with the extra stuff he has to do at home. But it seems that there's no respect for Tamara's job and what she needs to do. And she's really feeling the pressure of that. I couldn't believe it. The minute I stopped talking to Tamara, there she was, switching on the vacuum cleaner, and off she went. Sit down. You have got to be kidding me. So whilst Tamara was off cleaning a room that was already clean, I wanted to know what Hayley was doing to entertain herself. Let Judge have a listen. the rap. I mean, well, the language is inappropriate. Whatever happened to row, row, row your boat? It's absurd. How can Tamara have this kind of music on her MP3 player and allow Hayley to listen to it? So how far did you get? What are we down to? How many rooms we got? Um, we're basically done. I mean, I'll finish off later. Plan so away. now I'm gonna like yeah. just go downstairs and play with the kids. And I actually thought this was never going to happen, but later on in the day, tomorrow I found time to play with the kids. Ready? Yep. Okay, I'm gonna clean up. Does anybody wanna help me clean up? So let's pick up all these crayons, because they're breaking. I mean, this is just ludicrous. It really is. It's half past four. The kids have only just gone down now to have playtime, because Mum's been busy cleaning all day. I don't know when Dad's coming home. Mum has no idea when Michael's gonna be home for the evening. They've not, they've not really done anything. I feel like I've been here for two days because it's been so non-productive. This family needs so many things. I need to go back to basics with them. Tamara says she's overwhelmed, but these guys need to get their priorities straight. I'm gonna sit them both down and sort this out. I am glad you called me in because there are concerns that need to be dealt with as soon as possible otherwise later on down the line it's going to be a whole heap worse let's talk about safety in the house mm -hmm. it needs improving i have seen wall sockets that have not been protected I've seen stairwells that are left open. And I'd like to tell you that we just moved here mm -hmm. and that's why all of this is not kid proof. This is temporary and that's why we haven't really made it like kid safe. Like I don't, ha I haven't had time. Well, let me tell you something. You would find time if your child fell down the stairs and broke their leg or their back, oh, no. wouldn't you? It's still, should be safe for the kids. I'd like to talk to you about the next thing, cleaning. I saw you spend the best part of eight hours cleaning your home mm -hmm. frantically. I have four kids. My house always gets dirty. 
So what do I do? Just leave everything alone? The more kids you have, the more work you have. Do you not agree? This is what I don't agree with. I don't agree with cleaning something that's already clean when it takes away the time that you fundamentally could spend with your children teaching and growing. I never thought about it like that. Which brings me to the next point that I want to talk to you both about, Hayley and her music. So I'd just like to go through some of those words because these are the words that they're learning. Girl, shaking, shaking, booty, me, off that, in your, porn star, cuss her up, big, booty, holding my, and I'm on you. These are the lyrics from your music station. I don't think she's ever listened to those songs. I've never heard us listen to, I've never heard of the, the songs you're talking about. I don't, can I see which song it is? Can, can I just stop here and can we just really address the situation? Hayley has the MP3, okay? okay? These are the songs that are on the MP3. But she doesn't know what those words mean. Also, that's fine. She doesn't know what means, but is that fine? Does that make it okay? No. Does it? No. I mean, I'm asking you as... No as her father. We want to have music in her life. Yes. But we want to have it age appropriate. Okay, so we've spoke here about the concerns and the issues that need to be addressed. Michael, you're at work all day. And of course, all these concerns and issues are at home. Would it be a possibility if you could make more of a commitment to be at home in the evenings? Yeah, that's, that's possible. What would you need to do? To change my working schedule. Can you really change it? Can I really change it? Yeah. Depends how to change it. So you're able to commit to some days of coming home earlier? Yes. What difference would that make to you? Huge. I could actually uh, make dinner and he could play with the kids and I like the sound of it. We need to start work ASAP. Yes. So shall we begin? Yes. Yes. Okay, let's go then. Coming up on Supernan. So do you have any idea when Michael will be back? Of course not. Michael stands Joe up. <sighs> when Supernanny returns. But first, a tip from Supernanny. Parents, when using your regular babysitter, make sure you explain the house rules and write down your discipline methods. That way you'll provide consistency no matter who's looking after the kids. 